Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the uh, Windows Champ, and today I'm going to give you guys a really quick overview of Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2019. Probably one of the longest names for a Windows product, but know that everything in the name does mean something. We'll cover that. Um, and to, I'm going to give you a very brief overview of the Windows IoT channel and how you could easily get started in testing this software. Uh, in case you are an OEM or you qualify as an OEM that is building an appliance. That's what this product is specifically for. I get uh, customers calling and asking all the time, you know, how can I get this? What is it specifically for? I've heard I need this version. How do I get it? You've come to the right place. We'll cover that today fairly quickly, get you the answers and get you started. So let's jump into it. So in the IO T channel, which is for Internet of Things, it used to be called the Embedded OEM Embedded Channel. It's now the OEM IoT Channel. I still try to use the word embedded because a lot of people are still familiar with that. And some of the older products still have it in the name. Uh, but for Windows 10, it's Windows 10 IoT. It's specifically for the all these industries that you see here, which this covers the majority of them, but there are certainly others. If you're building some type of appliance where it boots Windows and then runs an application to do a specific function, then you would qualify. Um, and uh, you can be the OEM or you can be working. There's a number of scenarios. You might be working with another company to help build it, um, or you might be trying to just test it out to see if maybe this would work for an appliance. Um, and you can get started in this channel at no cost, no minimum purchase. Uh, you just have to sign the agreement, work with Arrow. We'll get you started on it. You can do all your testing without ever having to buy a single license. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity if you think this product might work for you. Um, one thing I'll note, probably the biggest competitor is Windows 10 Professional. And the picture on the right of the little kiosk there, um, anytime you know, you're going through an airport or you see this uh, type of error message, on the screen, it's usually an indication that they've used Windows 10 Pro and not the IoT uh, product, which has specific features built into it to prevent that from ever happening. Um, so, and we have a number of guides and customization guides to help you configure and customize the product so that your device will never have that happen to you. So, let's get started. Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2019. It does require that you sign an agreement. It's a no cost, no commitment, no minimum purchase agreement where you basically say, I'm only going to use this product for an appliance, not for a general use computer. And it's one agreement called a customer license agreement, version 7.0, and it covers all of these products. So it's not based on a per product. It's one agreement that covers all of these. And by signing this agreement, you get access to all of these products that you can begin testing with and playing with as well as using in your product. So I can cover that agreement in detail in other videos or in person if needed to via a con call or email. Um, but once you sign that agreement, then you get access to this product. Super easy to get started. Sign that agreement. Once it's approved, we'll get you the media. We'll get you a product key. You can start testing and customizing. We can give you the documents to help you customize, lock it down, configure the updates, um, and get it all going before you ever spend a single dime. But that fifth step, uh, when you're ready to start shipping production units, that's when you need to buy the COA sticker license, which is your certificate of authenticity. You'll buy that sticker. You'll put one sticker on each device before you ship it out. And then lastly, you are considered the OEM, so you have to support the device. So uh, the customer, the end user customer will not call Microsoft. They will call you because you will understand what type of device it is that you've built and what sort of customizations you need help. So you have to support it. So super easy. Sign it, media key, test, buy the sticker licenses, sell and ship, and then support. And I do have a YouTube video. Uh, up here in the right hand corner that's called how to get started where I do cover this uh, pretty quickly as well. So IOT editions, there's two people get these confused, but it's IOT core, IOT enterprise. And today I'm covering the IOT enterprise. So just know that the IOT core is for much smaller typical devices that typically don't have a screen. They can have a screen, but most of the time they don't really low end entry level stuff enterprises you need the full power of windows 
typically you you know you're running uh, an i5 an i7 an atom what you've got a full system there with full windows power and that's what i'm covering today a quick comparison you'll see that the enterprise on the right runs win32 apps as well as windows universal windows platform the windows 10 universal platform uh, the core does not it only runs windows 10 universal apps so if you have an existing win32 app you need to use the enterprise edition um, and it typically will require quite a bit more storage um, 16 gig for a 32 bit typically 20 gig minimum for a 64 bit 2 gigs ram 20 gig storage for 64 bit but obviously we would typically push that up to leave room for your app and for updates let's talk about the roadmap and how we got to 2019 on this particular I do have another YouTube video that covers this roadmap in far more detail than I'm about to right now right now I'm just going to cover down the down the middle the IoT Enterprise LTSC edition there's only been three versions of it 2015 in the blue 2016 in the green and now the new 2019 that actually came out um, last October November time frame in 2018 so it's been out um, for about eight nine months now and that's the edition I'm covering today uh, but for the long-term service channel only three editions available most of my customers that are on 2016 are already moving to 2019 because they like a number of the features that came out for that which I'll touch on here in a minute but know that when you buy a long-term service channel edition you're locked into that edition and if you want to move to the newer version it does require purchasing a full new license and you have to do a wipe and complete new image the product itself the 2016 or the 2015 product will not let you do an in-place upgrade so you can't upgrade you know have it booted and running and run setup and do an in-place upgrade it, it blocks that it won't allow that to happen so you have to wipe it clean install and it requires a full new license so keep that in mind let's look at um, exactly that service channel with the dates primarily want to get you all these dates so you can pause the video if you need to and see but down in the lower left I have the end of life um, because you'll get 10 years of life on the product itself so the 2019 you'll actually be able to buy and sell that product until November 30th 2028 and then you can see the other dates for 2016 and, and the 2015 editions and then you have your support so bottom far right you've got your extended support end dates so you can see that the 2019 edition will get you till January 2029 perfect for an appliance you want to load it you want to know that it's locked in and good and supported for 10 years um, and you're going to get 10 years of security patches and hot fixes and uh, but no new features it's locked in to build in this case 1809 and you will never get any new features another perfect item for an appliance you don't want a new feature coming along that could break something now we'll jump into specifically the 2019 product it supports up to the Intel ninth generation chipset and processors it's built on build 1809 which is the year 2018 and the month September um, that's when it was launched that's the build number it's locked into that for 10 years um, you get three additional years of support over the older 2016 edition and it gives you full control of Windows updates so um, I wrote a blog on Windows updates so if you just want to turn them off completely or if you want to leave them on and it'll get the security uh, patches but it will never get any new features another perfect part of the product another huge benefit of this product is you can use a single key so you'll get this single key place it in your image hide it and then you never have to deal with keys again the actual core sticker will not have a key on it it's called an EPKEA you'll see that in the product description at the bottom and no key, uh, you'll, you'll get this one key and then you're not having to type in keys every time you load a system you'll just blast an image onto a system and off you go you don't have to deal with keys huge advantage of this program now uh, new kiosk features so a lot of times a lot of reasons people are moving to ATO 9 is it's got some enhanced kiosk um, options and the ability to launch an app in a multi-app kiosk so if you're building a kiosk type scenario number of new features that you'll like from this product as well as the simplified assigned access so if you're creating some different users that have different access to different apps that's an option as well all right and then you have the part numbers of the part number descriptions for the three options the product is licensed based on the processor of your device as well the pricing will be three pricing tiers which I'm not allowed to put in the video 
But if you reach out to me, we get you a quote on that. But just know it's high value and entry. Entry is your Intel Atoms. Value is your i3, i5, and high end is your i7 Xeon. Um, so if you're building a smaller, low-performing app uh, appliance, the price of the Windows will be less expensive. Those are your three options. It's one product, one key, three honor system ways to license it. So you know it's not going to be looking at the actual processor. It's up to you to pick the correct one to put it on the put on the device to be compliant. That is it. That is your really quick overview of the 2019 Long Term Service Channel. Um, you can email me ken.marlinarrow.com to get started today. No cost involved. Sign that agreement. No cost, no commitment agreement. Get you the full blown product for testing. And you don't have to buy any licenses until you're ready to ship a production unit. Reach out to me and get started with Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2019 today. Thank you guys.